Will you pray with me? God, who is love, we humbly pray now that you tune our hearts to hear your word in this time, and that the words of my mouth may sing harmony with the melody of your message throughout time. Amen. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the service today, we dance the line between the fourth Sunday of Advent and the Christmas story. We are no longer reading about John the Baptist as an adult heralding Jesus' arrival, nor Jesus' own words from the end of the gospel like that first week of Advent. Today, we finally read about Mary, fresh off the news about her pregnancy from the angel Gabriel. She goes to visit her family and offers her song about God's love to her and her love of God. To me, this Sunday of Advent always feels like the start of the Christmas story, the beginning of the story about God's love for us, rather than the other scriptures, which seem to be more about preparing us to receive it. They're kind of more like prefaces to the book. If the other Advent scriptures had page numbers, I feel like they would be italicized Roman numerals. And then this Sunday would be page number one, like with a number. Today feels like we cross the threshold into Christmas, like the waiting is done and the main event is beginning. But the truth is, the story of Christmas, the story of God's love, that we know so well from the scriptures and from the songs that we sing at Christmas. Thank you, brass players, for sharing them with us today. The story of love does not begin on Christmas Eve when our Messiah is laid in the manger. And this scripture for today, this song of love from Mary, even though it feels different than the other passages and it seems more like a page one, it isn't the beginning of the story either. The story of God's love stretches back through the Hebrew scriptures. It stretches back beyond Mary, beyond the prophets that we've been reading each week who call for a Messiah and a light in the darkness and a Prince of Peace. The story of God's love echoes even earlier in the Bible to Hannah. Did you know that Mary's song is a model of Hannah's song? Hannah is the woman from the book of Samuel who so fervently prays for a child in the temple that she's labeled as crazy at first, and then she's eventually given respect and then is remembered by God, and then she gives birth to Samuel and brings him to the temple to be a priest. Hannah sings her song in 1 Samuel chapter 2, and it goes like this. My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in my victory. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who were hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low, he also exalts. God raises up the poor from the dust. God lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. I didn't read the whole thing, but do you hear the similarities? Mary bases her song to God from Hannah's song, who lived so long before Mary, our best guess is around 1,100 years before Mary. But they're singing the same story of God's love. The Christmas story stretches even further back than Hannah. This song echoes through time to our very creation to the love God placed in us from the dust on the earth. 
Page one of the story is not the manger in Bethlehem, nor Mary entering the scene on the fourth Sunday of Advent, even if that is what we are used to thinking. But the story begins with the very existence of God, bringing light into the darkness, order to chaos, and love into the formation of the world. In the same way that the story of God's love stretches back through time, when we sing songs about God's love today, whether it's with Christmas and Advent hymns or with our own words and actions, or whether we call on the words of a woman who lived so long before us, we bring the melody of God's love to the here and now. We are helping to write the proverbial page 2021, soon to be 2022. Mary's song, Hannah's song, God's spoken song at creation, and the songs we sing now, they all resonate with the, God of, with the love of God, eternally present for us since before the beginning of time, and will be present for us deeper into the future than we can ever imagine. May you sense that timeless love of God the story that stretches in every direction, the song that bears repeating in these last few days before Christmas. And may we all join in the chorus. Amen.